Yo, what's good, my people? So, as we now know in the past days, per reports, Kai Soto will be playing in the Summer League for the Orlando Magic. So, what I've done in this video is I've made a list of things that Kai must do in order for him to dominate, and I believe he's also capable of doing too. I'll also talk about his production in the NBL, so you're much more familiar with his game if you're not already. But before I get into all that stuff, make sure you like the video, subscribe to my channel, it will help me out a ton. But without further ado, let's jump right into it. So, I feel like Kai has a few weaknesses in his game which aren't necessarily his skill set but more of his confidence and I feel like one thing which he needs to do in order to dominate is be more aggressive. Kai is a guy who has great feel for the game offensively, he has a nice post game, he has a good soft touch in his jumper especially from mid range and I feel like Kai needs to trust that more because in the summer league you're trying to prove yourself to show why you deserve to be on an NBA roster. Even if it might not be the Orlando Magic there's 29 other NBA teams that are going to be watching so all he has to do is impress one of those teams teams which I'm sure he will do and staying aggressive offensively is something he needs to really focus on because like I said he's a skilled offensive player and a lot of players on those rosters are going to be playing for themselves trying to prove themselves so when Kai gets touches he does need to make the right play but at the same time be aggressive if you got the ball down low in the post hit the guy with a drop step a little turn around jump hook show your skill set offensively also, staying out of foul trouble is imperative for Kai Soto to show his full skill set. Now, I say this because if he's not on the floor, how are other teams going to show or be able to assess his high level of talent? So, staying out of foul trouble is important. He's also a very high level rim protector as well. I believe in the NBL, he averaged nearly one block a game in 12.9 minutes. So it's a thing where if Kai stays out of foul trouble, he can show his ability on both sides of the floor. And not only that, he's a great guy in the sense of mobility, as in there's a lot of bigs his size that can't move as well as him. So Kai has a lot of intangibles, which can definitely impress a lot of NBA teams. But staying on the floor is definitely key. Another point is trust in his jump shot. Kai's shot is good looking. He has a decent stroke for mid range. So Kai trust in his shot if he's open is very key if you're being left wide open from the three-point line he needs to shoot more shots because nba teams in today's era on today's era of the league are looking for stretch fives centers that can shoot the ball and hit threes at a high clip i can see there's potential there with kai last season he shot 35 percent from three in nearly one on nearly one attempt per game it's a thing where he just needs more confidence in his shot and he will definitely start falling more because the skill set and talent is there the mechanics are fine and you can see inside and sometimes from mid-range he has a smooth soft touch in his jump shot so he needs to be more trustworthy of his abilities in that regard communication defensively obviously and that links in with the second point anchoring the interior so being the focal point in the defense the center position anchoring down inside it's important that you're communicating showing guys where they're meant to be, calling out coverages. These are all things that don't go underlooked and NBA scouts and front offices are definitely looking for. So Kai needs to be very vocal and can communicate a lot. And those are more things that can sell him to more NBA teams. And also active roller after setting screens. Kai is a guy who when is aggressive can be a very, very ferocious finisher inside the paint. He has a nice sense of touch around the room. He's also quite athletic. So it's a thing where when Kai sets the screen, as long as he's rolling, it'll be down to the ball handler to find him and if he's playing with a guy like Anthony Black, Anthony Black is a high IQ point guard so if Kai is open off a roll you best believe Anthony Black will find him and I definitely believe that if Kai finds a good connection with Black it can kind of work hand in hand to the point where you can see how good of a pick and roll player Kai is and it also amplifies Anthony Black's ability as a passer. So if Kai does all these things here I believe that he will dominate because he has the intangibles, he has the height, he has the overall confidence at times he needs to be more consistent with that but as a whole the skill set is there and Kai needs to show these NBA guys why he deserves to be on one of those 29 teams or even 30 teams including the Orlando Magic and once he does all these things I can guarantee you that Kai will be on a roster next season. So it's mainly about him trusting his abilities, being confident and overall just locking and being focused, making the right decisions on the floor, which Kai usually does. And if he's able to do that, like I said, this guy's honestly the limit. But in the NBL, he stats from the left. He did average 6.8 points, three rebounds, and almost a block a game on 51% from the field. Obviously, that 71% from the line is pretty good for a guy at seven foot three. So that leads me to believe, like I said earlier, that Kai can take 
take more three pointers so it's imperative that he's trustworthy of his abilities which i've said a thousand times it's the most key thing in the nba today trust your abilities especially with a guy of kai's skill set and level of talent he needs to be more confident knowing that he's going to be able to produce and give the best offensive output when he does pop a shot so yeah honestly speaking that's all i got for today's video to summarize for you guys and kai if you're somehow watching this video be confident you got the whole of the Philippines rooting for you. You're a very talented young man. You're a very talented individual. Show these guys in the Summer League why you belong in the NBA. Show them how good of a prospect and talent you are. And show them how at seven foot three, there's not many guys who can do what you do on the court. Can't move as well as you. They don't have the same feel of the game. They don't obviously have the touch around the rim, the post moves. Showcase all these things. And there's going to be an NBA team, if not many, that are calling Kai and his agent in order to secure his services on a long term term basis but that's all i got for this video today thank you guys so much for watching it i appreciate it i don't care where you're watching from whether it's the united states the uk the philippines your support means so much to me thank you guys a lot i've been following kai extensively for the past six months and i'm telling you right now this is his big opportunity to show why he belongs and can hang in the nba but that's all i got for this video today stay blessed my people have a wonderful rest of your week have a wonderful weekend depending on where in the world you are but i'm out peace